Hipsters, hi YouTube, hope you guys are having an amazing week. Today's video is going to be the much requested shoe guide. I'm also going to be kind of like throwing a review in there because I've included some pieces that I've just picked up and some pieces that I picked up last year that I think are absolute must have and that I highly recommend. But before we get into it though, if this is your first time seeing my face, hi! My name is Chi Chi and this is my channel. What you can expect here are guys like this, lookbooks, styling videos, um, hauls, and lifestyle content like the occasional vlog. If that sounds like something you're into, then please consider subscribing down below. And if you do subscribe today, if this is your first time, if you're new here, please let me know so that I can personally welcome you to the family. And if you're already subscribed, I'm glad you're back. All right, so without further ado, if you're here to see the top seven, okay, must have pairs of shoes you need this spring and summer, then keep on watching. All right, when it comes to shoe trends for spring and summer 2019, there are quite a few, but I thought I would kind of whittle them down to the most um, wearable and affordable as well. Um, we, we're seeing a lot of play with different textures and materials. Um, we're also seeing a lot of like um, embellishment and detail, especially around the heel. So part of shoes that you wouldn't like normally have paid attention to, they're getting attention this spring and summer. So the first trend is going to be the PVC trend or the Perspex trend. And honestly, this trend is really not that new. A couple of years ago, these type of like see-through shoes were really, really in and they are back, okay? They are back with a vengeance this spring and summer. Um, I personally love this one because it was giving me Gian Vito Rossi vibes. Um, I love the fact that it has this clear um, heel and the, it's a block heel so it actually gives me some support when I walk. Um, and this I picked up from ASOS and it was pretty affordable so of course I will have all of the shoes that are still available linked for you down below. Um, they actually make this in wide width as well in kind of like a tan color and I can just see this paired with so so many things. Also when I shared this on Instagram it got a lot of love so thought I'd share this here. So if you're on Instagram, I guarantee that you see at least one neon outfit per day. Okay, neon has taken over the spring and summer, which is so weird. And so I picked up a pair of neon pumps and actually picked this up from Amazon in a size 12. I usually size up for shoes like this that aren't real leather. Actually, um, I really wanted a neon pair of shoes. I, I was on the hunt for mules, but somehow I ended up with pumps. And I actually think in the scheme of things, this is a lot more sturdy to walk around in. I think this is about maybe a three and a half, close to four inch. I think this is more like a four inch heel. On the website or the picture they have on Amazon, the heel does look higher. Um, I also really like the way it's cut in front as well and overall it's pretty sturdy It does go up to a size 12 for my girls who have big feet So I'm gonna tell you right now all these shoes that I'm sharing with you in this video go up to a size 11 if not a size 12 I also did a blog post as well that has even more um, options for you guys if you want to get in the neon trend, but maybe don't want to really buy into it completely a neon accessory is a great way to go. That's my tip. The next shoe trend is kind of like a carryover from last year, and that is going to be the slide. I have quite a few pairs of slides. This one happened to be out from when I did my um, top 10 videos from 2018, so that's why I'm pulling it back out for you guys. This comes in a variety of colors, of styles, this goes up to a size 13. This is actually a size 12, and honestly, I could have gotten this in a size 11, but I hate when my feet hang out the back of my shoes, so I always tend to size up. So again, this is um, real leather, and it's actually padded pretty well as well as Sam Edelman is known for. If you do not have a pair of slides in your life, 
girl. What are you waiting for? The next sort of shoe trend that we're seeing everywhere is the barely there shoe. Now, I have mixed feelings with about this trend because I think it's absolutely sexy, but I also think it's also, um, it could be very unwearable if you're a plus size girl because they typically come in like stiletto format, um, very thin straps. You know, you gotta know how I feel about shoes that I don't have to struggle to put on my feet. Um, so, but I thought about it and I do have one item that could fit into that category and that would be the these sandals from last year. These are like some rope sandals that tie around um, your feet. So the style is more prevalent when it comes to the heeled sandal category. And actually, I have been searching for the right pair for me. I've been looking for a pair with a chunkier heel instead of like the stiletto heels because I just don't see that as being a practical or wearable shoe style for me. Um, but they look absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Um, I've seen them in like the higher stiletto styles and I've seen them in more of like the kitten heel style as well. So they're all over kitten heels. That is another top shoe trend um, for spring and summer 2019. All, I'm sure all of you, your feet is thanking the gods that this shoe trend is in. But yes, the kitten heels. So I have these kind of like peekaboo style, lace style kitten heels. These are definitely dupes for the Dior um kitten heel shoes. I picked these up last year. So another option for the kitten heel here, this is also a recent purchase and this one is from Target. I've got a, quite a few people asking me about these. I also picked these up in a size 12 because of the pointy toe. This is really really padded as well and relatively affordable. So this is the end everyday Target line. I will have this link because this is still available. I just linked this recently. I will have that linked down below as well. Now the next um, shoe trend uh, that I'm seeing all over for spring and summer is definitely the mule trend. I have several mules and I seem to only have brought out the most boring one. <laughs> Okay, so um, it is the mule trend and mules are also a carryover from last year. They were super in, super big. Um, and I recently picked this pair up from Fashion Nova. Though all the ones I picked up from last year were a little bit more chunky. This one is the only one that I have that has like kind of like a skinnier heel. And I went with a black because I just, I wear a lot of black even in the summertime. So I knew this would be a great addition to my closet. And what I've noticed is that a lot of these shoes now have this like pointed sort of like toe and I think that's super elongating, super flattering to the foot. Definitely if you do not have a pair of mules, you need to buy into the trend because I also think it's a really easy style to wear, really easy style to walk around. They have different heights. The animal print trend. So anything with animal prints and not just like your typical leopard like my jacket here, but you know, snake skin, zebra, cow, all those prints. I saw this really gorgeous pair of shoes that was like hot pink and then it had zebra stripes and it had leopard print. Sadly, it did not come in my size. I was so sad because I really would have picked up those pairs of shoes. Um, but yeah, I just have one recent option to show you guys in the, um, in the snakeskin pair. Now I'm sure you're like, girl, it's summer. Why are you showing me a pair of boots? Well, I think this is one of those kind of shoes that is multi-seasonal because although this is a boot, it has cutouts, as you can see, all through the shoe. And if I were to wear this in the winter, I'd have to wear this with thick socks. Um, but during the summer, you can wear this bare leg. Again, it has holes all through it so you it vents all the way to basically down here this is a dupe for a very very expensive pair of chloe boots um and i picked this one up from sam edelman and if you're going to a festival honestly this would be my number one shoe pick simply because you know 
if you've never been to a festival, the number one rule, especially if you're going to something like Coachella, or Bonnaroo, or even like Governor's Ball, anything that there's going to be a lot of people, it's going to be outside, people are going to be walking. The number one thing they tell you is to wear closed toed shoes. So I love the idea of a shoe like this because it, you know, it vents. So my, my toes are protected and events and then that gives me a little bit of height which is always good i also just recently did a styling video so if you're into those kind of videos i will link all of my stuff down below or above my head so you can check it out question of the day what is your least favorite shoe trend if you like this video, share it with a friend. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. I don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses, but it is this gorgeous, ruffled,